Welcome back, Wowzery. Another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts video here. Today I've uh, decided to do the Colorado class. Uh, I was going to do South Dakota uh, 1939 or so, but I don't like the superstructure yet. It looks too much like the Iowa. So uh, I'm going to wait maybe for the next uh, round or maybe later on to actually do the Iowa class. Which is kind of bad because I actually really like the South Dakota class. And when I was playing around with it earlier, this hull, while it looks good, I can't not I cannot put a barbette back here, which I really need to make it really look like. And this I actually found has a better look. Uh, I think this is maximum length. Yeah, it won't go any further. So we'll get a couple cage mass here. Now, technically speaking, this uh, drop right here, this cage match was actually down here. So I was hoping the other hall I'd actually be able to do that, but uh, wasn't able to. I'm going to go and do the engines here. It's one of those strange things. I found it. They called it a turbo electric. And I know it's steam. But I do not know if it uses geared steam turbines. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. I do know it was oil. That usually helps. I'm going to go with some auxiliary. And this is one thing I did forget to look at. I think it, a lot of them were more corrupt cemented at this time. Uh, apparently it did have some good armor. Or protection. I believe at this time US battleships were doing the all or nothing armor scheme. And again I think I've heard a lot of people do the cordite here. Of course got a Increase speed and uh, reloading. It did have 21 inch torpedoes, but it does not allow it this time, so. Quickly do the armor here. And uh, what I had the belt says 13.5 uh, down to 8. Deck was uh, 3.5 to 1.5. That's what I found. There may be other information out there that's different, but I find that to be so true with this type of stuff. One place has one thing, and another place has something completely different, and you're left going, scratching the top of your head, going, what? Which one should I use? So I went with that. Let's see, there were two funnels on it. Can I get two like that? Yeah. And of course, got to get the twin 16-inch main guns. Oh, I forgot the barbette. And I need a super huge one. So. Unfortunately, it won't fit on the other one. I tried. The main guns. And it does have the casements. Now with with the Colorado class, I found, depending on the ship, it was either 12 or 14 single guns. I can put 6 in, so I do have 12. I think this was more of a probably Maryland, not Colorado. I think Colorado had uh, 14. We'll put Maryland. There we go. And, oh yeah, torpedo tubes. Let's add those. And there is our Colorado class. I like the US Dreadnought Hall better than the Hall 3 for this one. It just 
it looked better for me. Had more of the lines of a uh, the battleship. I, I do hope that they do another dreadnought hull. It'd be very nice for for the ship. But uh, let's uh, take it into battle. Uh, remember, I'm on YouTube. Bit shoot. Like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Get notified for new videos. Oh, oh that looks like an interesting layout right there. Reminds me of the Florida class right there. I'm going to try and this time just go, I'm gonna go 19 knots, see if that makes a difference. I do find I there. If you go full speed, there's a penalty. But yet, when I don't go full speed, the enemy has a better chance of hitting me. So it's it's really a trade-off between the two. Yeah, that's almost a Florida battleship. What was it Florida and Utah and? A couple of others had this type of arrangement. I might be able to, I might be able to do that. And let's get some speed up here and twenty six knots. I th thought I'd reduce that to 21. I guess I did not. No, so I... That is a... That is a, a mistake I made. Yeah. That's actually a first, and I, I generally don't make that mistake. It's usually one of the first things I do. I just completely forgot about it. Well... They're turbocharged dread US dreadnoughts. Huh, Long Beach. Uh, not 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 exactly a uh, US battleship name. I've already been hit. What did what do they have? They're fourteen inch guns. Which is uh, that's I guess you could say that is typical for a uh, Japanese Dreadnought. Ooh, it looks like I already knocked one of their turrets out. Yeehaw! So, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, ten. Two less than most Japanese dreadnoughts. Another Fuso. And, uh, I see. I see. I see. I class. That each had 12, 14 inch guns. Yeah, the Fuso I always thought was one of the ugliest dreadnoughts ever designed. But there, it, it's got its, uh, it's got its fans, so. Two of the three Colorado class were at Pearl Harbor, Maryland, and West Virginia. Colorado actually was uh, had, I think, finished repairs and was at San Diego, or was still undergoing modification, not repairs, mod uh, upgrades. I guess you could call it refit. Yeah. Where here's all the shoot info. All the the buffs and all that type stuff of the ship. Let's see what does the 16 inch gun have? Uh, 0.77 reload. Ooh. 90%. Looks like their secondaries probably have six inch, maybe even seven inch. Wouldn't doubt it. Uh, 
There we go. Let's see. Yep, seven inch. A little five inch gun in there, right after, right after the smokestacks. A couple of four inch guns, two inch. Boy, look at the placement of that two inch gun right there. Between the superstructure and main gun. <laughs> Uh, the the computer can do some weird. Kai, yeah, I think that was a name of a. I've heard that name put out for one of the. Uh, I think of the Amiga or Kega class. Battleships and battle cruisers. Same with, no. Also, I've heard for a carrier. I think. And let's see. Looks like I'm smoking. Is there a fire? No, that's out. No, that's up. That fire's out too. I only have four hits. He's hitting with the seven inch guns. Hit me a few more times. One thing I've seen is uh, balance affects the uh, shooting. Let's see, go up to 21 nuts. Okay, 21. And we're about to fire. Any second. Oh, there we go. Both sides are still shooting. I did send off that uh, uh, glitch report yesterday. I think it's a known report. I saw on the... the uh, forum that Nick, one of the guys that is developers, you know, sent a post in a forum on another topic where a guy had something similar happen. When it's a known issue, so they're working on getting it repaired. We'll see. Let's see which ship am I shooting at. I'm not shooting at this one right here. I see that hole, see that turret layout right there? That's what I needed with the Yamato. That type of turret. That would have just completed, completed the look. I mean, get a nice, nice view from stern forward. See all the guns take off. There they start raising. Looks their reload. 1.24. It's actually kind of realistic. No, they they would not fire all guns in a broadside at one time. They would do. They would stagger it to prevent strain on the hull. Long Beach, that's a cruiser name. Blinded by the light. Not sure what the AI is doing. Oh, it's circling around to get in behind the Maryland. other. Let's see. Let's see. I hate it when I do that. It's going at 19 knots. The other one's going at 8 knots. Well, it looks like they've switched targets. 19. I was looking at the percentages of the hit. Oh. 
knock out the engine. A few other things, it's on fire. Let's see. 2.9 to 15 inch. Yeah, it's got better armor. I can tech with another 108 versus 98. Computer went up higher than I did. Although the speed is 20 knots, but I accidentally went 20, didn't change that from 20 to down to 21. Nope, both engines are now now down. It's no longer flooding on fire. Oh, flooding and firing on fire again. Speed's being reduced. I should be able to be hitting it better now. Oh, the rudder's now damaged. Let's see. Superstructure's damaged. That hurts the... Uh, fire control the more that's if that's damaged it definitely does affect things and he's turning he's about to lose a lot of his firepower both my ships have engine damage now What is this guy doing? He's just slowly putting along. 13 knots. His size is really down. With the asso. Asso. Nope. Let's see, I've, I've had 15 good hits. Penetrating hits. Two overpins, three partial, several ricochet and blocked shots. I think those are five inch shots. Maryland over there is on fire. Main tower is damaged again. Looks like it's about to do a 180 here. I've got pretty good uh, ah so sunk one one down one to go I think the main guns main guns are the heavier main guns are definitely uh, causing a problem for him, causing more damage. But for a while there, it was it was iffy. As to if I hit enough. there has kind of a British look there but that that was how Japanese ships were at the time now the tripod they were heavily influenced by Britain at the time eight guns versus 16 total Any incoming? Yep, here they come. Nothing. Sea water. Incoming again. They're pretty good at washing the deck here.
No. More incoming. Any hits? Oh, there we go. We finally got a hit on that one. Not that it did anything. Well, it did some flooding. Let's see how our, my ship's doing. Not too bad, still. The percentage went down a bit. I think I had one game I played early on. I actually expended all my ammo. I was like, yeah. Didn't sink the enemy. I think it was a cruiser one. I had like... 30 main guns or some ridiculous amount and just firing away the secondary guns are still firing hey can you guys hit something maybe oh there we go now that I moved away I, it, it started hitting Another hit. Let's see, down to thirty-two percent. He's not moving fast. Come on, you should be hitting him better. Jeez. U.S. ships are supposed to be dry ships, not. In other words, no, no drinking. Looks like my uh, gunners have been drinking. It was the thing we'd always say about World of Warships on early on the secondaries. Drinking vodka. Because they couldn't hit jack shit most days. Oh, it sank. Well. There it is. It was only a matter of time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe. I'll see you next video.